Hi there. We're going a bit gorilla this time around. Welcome, I'm Dave, and we are surfing the world's safest. And as I mentioned, it's a bit gorilla. I've got my micro uh, recorder. I <laughs> I had to stop myself almost from saying uh, micro cassette recorder because that's certainly what it would have been back in the 1980s. But uh, nowadays it's all digital. Uh, and uh, I'm here in the green room getting ready to uh, go out and have a Carpinteria California time. I hope you don't mind, but we're going to keep it very Carpinteria centric today because we're going to uh, go experience the biggest event of the year here in Carpinteria, and that would be the California Avocado Festival. Uh, it's been going on for a long time, I don't know, 30 whatever years. Uh, and uh, last couple of years have been, you know, well, either scaled back or canceled completely because of the pandemic. But we kind of expect it to return, if not back to normal, closer to normal. Uh, than we've seen in the last couple of years. And uh, for those of you who just can't imagine the California Avocado Festival, it's just pretty much like any other small town festival. They close the main street down, fill it full of food vendors. A lot of them are the same ones that are probably showing up in your town for your local festival or nearby. Uh, some of them, however, are uh, service clubs that uh, are here in Carpinteria. So the local, uh, I guess it's the Elks, make a tri-tip sandwich. And uh, the, uh, Carpinteria, the uh, Carpinteria High School makes every year... <laughs> I don't know how they do it. They make the world's largest bowl of guacamole. I don't know. Every year it's the world the world's largest. So I guess it must get a little bit bigger every year. <laughs> I I I don't see anybody from Guinness World Records around, so I don't know if it's actually uh being uh, checked out, I kind of doubt it. But we'll just say it's the world's biggest bowl of guacamole. I've never had any of that particular guacamole because I refuse to uh, sample anything that claims to be the world's largest anything. Uh, but there's other good guacamole at the Avocado Festival, and I'm sure we're going to have some of that. And in addition to the food vendors, and of course the excellent guacamole, uh, traditionally there are like three stages uh, downtown on the main drag. They're all kind of separate from each other, separate enough so that they can have bands on all three stages. And it's great because that just means that there's just music all weekend long. And normally, it's a long weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This year, they've advertised it just Saturday and Sunday. Uh, right now, today, it's Friday, Friday afternoon. Or, well, no, actually, it's Friday morning, excuse me. Um, and uh, this evening, my wife and I, Marianne, uh, and I are going to go, I guess, try to get in some trouble. And we kind of figure, I guess, that there's, uh, I don't know if there's a plan already, but the locals will 
uh, party on Friday, and we'll have a locals-only Carpinteria Festival. And then Saturday and Sunday, the touristas can come into town and uh, do their thing. And we'll see how many show up. I mean, uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the Carpinteria, for the uh, California uh, uh, Avocado Festival, and yeah, I made a mistake there. It's not the Carpinteria Avocado Festival. It's the California avocado festival in mean, the entire state is there's, there's one and it's here in carpinteria uh so it's kind of a big deal uh but uh as i was saying normally tens of thousands of people will come into town and it's a big hairy deal the last couple of years have been like i said scaled back or canceled completely because of the pandemic I guess we're going to just see how many people roll into town. Uh, for those of you who don't know about Carpinteria, we're about uh, <laughs> less than 10 miles from where Oprah lives, <laughs> if that helps. And Ellen. <laughs> Though we have George Lucas here in Carpinteria. Uh, Ellen and... Uh, and uh oprah live in montecito but we're right here on the coast uh at the border of ventura and santa barbara county we're in the santa barbara side we're on the us 101 uh about 100 and whatever 10 miles north of uh, or whatever east of los angeles though it's up the north bound 101 100 miles 110 miles so we get a lot of through traffic and a lot of people will come normally to the California Avocado Festival and throw down. So we'll see what happens this weekend. Uh, we're going to take this little micro recorder around and talk to people and talk to them about, I don't know, avocados. I will talk to them, see some friends see what they're up to. I have no idea what we're going to do, but I haven't done one of these podcasts for a long time. Um, I'm kind of living in a bubble right now, my little Carpinteria bubble, where um, (laughs) I live a mile and a half from my job here in Carpinteria. So, uh, I basically just go to work, uh, I go home and where I like shop and get food and stuff is like less than a half a mile from the motel that I work at. So I'm within two miles of the same area, uh, every day and I violate my bubble once a week and, venture out into Santa Barbara and take care of some business. But uh, aside from that, I'm just in my little bubble. So um, that kind of explains why I haven't done a lot of podcasts. I've asked a couple of people via the internets if they would like to do the podcasts, and I can certainly do one uh, remotely if somebody doesn't want to like meet me here in Carpinteria for a cup of coffee, and I've invited people who live here in Carpinteria if they want to get together for a cup of coffee, and we have yet to work that out, but we probably will in the future. Uh, In the meantime, uh, that's why I'm doing the podcast, and I'm just kind of rambling right now uh, because there's really nothing else to talk about. Um, as I said at the very beginning, this is a bit gorilla, so I'm just going to be clicking on and off my micro recorder and, like I said, talking to people about avocados, maybe seeing some friends I haven't seen, and uh, we'll give you the view, <laughs> the view, audio view. <laughs> As I mentioned, it's Friday, and we are ready to go to the California Avocado Festival. I'm with my wife, Mary Ann, and we're going to jump the car, head downtown, see what kind of trouble there is there. The one thing that I want to do before uh, I go, and that's the one thing that the producers asked me to do, is give you my contact info, because you may want to complain about the low quality of the show or whatever, and so make sure you Send your emails to davidj at gomulet, 
at gmail.com. That's spelled out G-O-M-U-L-E-T at gmail.com. Or uh, you can call the, using a phone anytime you'd like at 805 805- Seven two four four nine nine five, and leave a message. And, hey man, you never know who's going to call you back. Or, if you prefer, you can actually send us a card or a letter at PO Box four one seven three three, Santa Barbara, California nine three one four zero. So there you go. Off we go to the California Avocado Festival. Okay, so here we are. Downtown. A lot of folks hanging around. We got bands playing in the background. And we've got all the food vendors set up down on our main street here. And a lot of it is the same carnival food that you've probably had before. You know, some Thai food or maybe some burgers or whatever. But there are a few service clubs here in uh, Carpinteria that are making some money by selling food downtown. And uh, we're outside the booth for the Lions Club. And they're selling their famous tri-tip sandwiches, which are pretty good, except I do recall that about, I don't know, 20 years ago or so, uh, their tri-tip was infected with salmonella. And they got a bunch of people sick at the Avocado Festival because they had tri-tip sandwiches with extra salmonella. Mmm, yummy. So, but I tell you what, we're in line right now, and uh, no one's died in the last 20 years or so. So I think we're going to take a chance and get ourselves a tri-tip sandwich and see if we can survive. All right, so we'll see what happens next. Okay, so let's have a bite. Mm. Oh, good stuff. Yummy. And the salmonella is extra yummy. Mm. Thank you, Wines Club. It's great to see so many people out here in Carpinteria, California, just out enjoying the evening. There are hundreds of people downtown. And what's really funny is, you know, we've been dealing with the pandemic for the last couple of years, so either they had to cancel the Avocado Festival or scale it way back. And this year, they're just trying to bring it back uh, full speed. And it's so funny because the pandemic is over and uh, virtually nobody has a mask on here. But every once in a while, every once in a while, you'll see somebody walking through the crowd with a sad little mask on their face. And I'm wondering, why are you still wearing a mask? Just get the vaccine. Boosters, come on. Who needs the mask? But that's just me. There you go. That's my political commentary for the day. They've got some of the tchotchke vendors set up this evening. Different booths selling different things. And hey, I noticed they've got Cutco, the world's finest cutlery, available at the California Avocado Festival, people. Come on down and get your Cutco cutlery. Oh, it's going to be awesome. So I'm wandering through the crowd, and I seem to have lost my wife. I'm not sure where my wife is. Hey! Has anybody seen my wife? She's around here somewhere. I can't find her. There's too many damn people at the California Avocado Festival. I'll find her eventually. I've noticed that a lot of the locals are ignoring the no animals sign. 
that's here at the Avocado Festival. A lot of dogs. A lot of locals with dogs. I'm okay with that, I suppose. If you can let your goddamn kids run around unchecked, you can bring your well-behaved dog, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we'll just walk through the crowd, and we'll see who we can see, because there's always somebody to see in Carpinteria. As a matter of fact, I see my, my friend right here, Gary Dobbins, is right here. Oh, my And, and I, I, can't, I can't call it the Avocado Festival without uh, seeing Gary Dobbins. And so, I'm out here. find me again. I'm out here. I'm on here podcasting right now. And you may remember Gary from a previous podcast that I did. We had a lot of fun then. And we're back with the Avocado Festival after kind of a couple of years of weirdness. And the pandemic is mostly over. And it's great to see so many people out here in Carpinteria. All Because I didn't market it other than Carpinteria. You, the, the ad says Saturday and Sunday. It doesn't That's talk right. about Friday. So all, only the locals were here on Friday. Only locals knew from the paper. That's the only place I released it. Well, I'm so glad the Avocado Festival was back and we're having some fun. The businesses are too. The businesses are so excited. They're making bank right now and they need to before winter. And I hope know. I hope they have a great weekend. I mean, it's going to so be nice so weather good. and yeah. it's going to be good, man. Yeah. yeah, it is. Well, listen, it's good to see you. You too. Hope you don't mind slipping into my podcast. No. Any time for you, David. Thanks, we go man. Way back. Gary Dobbins. You it's call great. me and we'll get together it's, anytime. It's great to see you, man. I'll catch you later. All right, so we're outside the Holy Guacamole booth right now, and there's a line that you would not believe here at the Avocado Festival. People want their guacamole. Holy guacamole. I guess I'll just stand in line here for a little while and uh, give myself some guacamole because it wouldn't be the Avocado Festival without it. I'm standing outside the Ferris wheel. You can hear it in the background. And it's scaring the hell out of me. Well, I'm in the porta potty. <laughs> and it's not too bad. Not yet. It's still early. Well, there you have it. That was the California Avocado Festival. It was nice to see friends out on a Friday night having a good time uh, for those of you who uh, don't care about avocados I understand <laughs> alright thanks for surfing the world's safest as we move through the California Avocado Festival we'll catch you next time